Hello everybody, Always Jeffers here, back with part 2 of Portal 2, and um, well if you're seeing this, I guess part 1 did good enough that I decided to make a part 2, but I won't know that yet until the uh, video is posted, but we are going to continue uh, with this. So, uh, this is a pretty easy test, you just gotta go across bridges, you know, the usual, oh wait, hold up, if my calculations are correct, we gotta press that button first, obviously, alright, so, uh, we just gotta wait, uh, these tests are kinda just filler, they're not very tough until the, you know, real stuff happens later on. Uh, oh. Man, but these light bridges, this is probably, this is a classic. This is a classic puzzle right here. Very, very nice. Predator, and these tests are your prey. That's right. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? It's not sharks. Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. Well, I didn't guess sharks. answer is nobody. Nobody, nobody but you. Nobody is that pointlessly cruel. Cycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Dang. What a another roast from GLaDOS herself. No, don't get up. I'll be right there. Was that number two? Touch Maybe number fifty-seven. Anything. Depending on if you're counting all of the times she has not only called us fat but also hey, ugly. Hey, up here. So I know he's talking right now, but this is Wheatley. Uh, since we skipped the first chapter because everyone's seen it, and if you haven't, I'm so sorry about that. But that's Wheatley. He's gonna try to help us escape this facility. Okay, the point is, he's gonna break out of here. He's got a very soon. That, that's British accent, right? I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. So little Wheatley. The door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be. Well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. If nobody, if nobody else exists in this facility currently. How is there a door guy? Plus, if you're able to fix it, Gladys, you're just a terrible person. I mean, we all know that. But now you're just kind of putting a bow tie on how bad a. Okay. You're gonna glitch through the floor like that. Jeez. Uh, we all know how much of a terrible person you are, Gladys, okay? Well done. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, oh there's, there's a lot of room here, here, huh? Okay. Did well. Enough. Yes! I love it when I do well enough. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the yep. pale scarecrows that are full of bullets. See okay. this guy right here? <laughs> He's gone. Seconds. Good luck. He's also gone. So is he. This is the sad life of turrets. They just kind of only live to die in this game. have to do this test manual. That's so fun. Ah, uh, turrets. We love them. Dang. That light still works? You see that? That's crazy. How much money would it cost to keep this place up? Right? Like, it's gotta cost billions of dollars each day. I maintain a constant testing cycle. I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. 
Yesterday was my birthday. Oh my gosh, guys. Yesterday. Oh, Gladys, you remembered. Gladys remembered my birthday. Oh, what a sweet gal Gladys is to remember. I want to get that right. Uh, get it. You know how I'm going Sweet. to live forever, you know? but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. Aperture Laboratories. Oh look, the logo's fixed. That's a neat little that thing because in the stupid. other video, I believe, the logo That's was not, not fixed and it was it's all right here rusted in your down. On other people it looks fine, but right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. It doesn't well, look stupid. What does a neckbearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait, it's a she. Still, what oh, does she figure. know? Oh, wait. It says she has a medical degree. This is what I mean. Gladys just keeps class. talking. Target lost. Whoops, sorry guys. Oof, almost killed me. I'm going to get a list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. No. Could it be that Gladys has found my parents? I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. <gasps> Telling you would spoil the surprise. That's the point. So I'll just give you a hint. Oh. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. <gasps> Did you guys hear that? Oh my gosh. Oh, is Gladys finally going to do something nice? Wow. That's honestly crazy. Okay, how? Totally forgot to do this test. Do I go up here? Maybe. Let's see. What's up here? I don't really know what to do. Oh! That's right. Happens to the best of us. Dang, that was a pretty quick death. Okay, uh, there's a secret over there, and I want to know how to get it. If I am not mistaken. This portal! Oh, wow! You figured it out! Okay. This is a fun little secret. You guys want to see this? We're gonna make kind of spoilers for the end of the game if you don't want to see that. We'll go to that later. better than my computer you see that processor right there water mugs beans huh all right well that was that it was a fun little easter egg uh, go tell your parents about it you know just have fun oh you guys want to see what shell looks like dash me see she's not fat at all Gladys is just being a little <laughs> meanie head. <laughs> we all know her. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Okay, I don't know if I've said this before, but Gladys, uh, so the reason this whole place is abandoned and why you don't see anyone in those windows and all the other stuff, yada, 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 
is because of the fact that Gladys has killed them all. Uh, so, yeah. So, like, yeah, you want to you see? Can I go in here? Huh. I don't even know this. No way. Is this an actual secret that I never found before? Is that the outside? No, that's not the outside. Yeah. I've never seen this before. I didn't even know you can go back here. Well, that was a fun little thing, huh? Neat. This game has the best secrets. Go, let me go over here. And boom. See, puzzle solved. What are we going to see? Are you excited? Are you just as excited as I am? I hope you are. This is Gladys's big surprise. Here we go. You see those turrets? They're ready too. Oh my gosh. I can't. Okay. We can do this. Initiating surprise in three, two. <gasps> I made it all up. Surprise. Well, that's not a very fun surprise. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they even want to see you. Dang, could you imagine that you never seeing your parents, or like from as far as we know, never even knowing who they are, and now that you have a chance at actually seeing them, man, that is so cold. I always forget how to do this test every single time. Uh, I know what I have to do. Ooh. No, I don't. Never mind. Well, I guess we can go over here. Now. Sorry, old friend, but... Protect me, block. Okay. Ooh. All right, so... Get out. Get out. All right, so we gotta figure this out. Oh, I, I know. No more. Do this. Yeah, the music's playing. That means we're doing the good stuff. There we go. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what. Let's give your parents a call right now. Dang, my parents are also ruthless. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Dang, not even my own parents love me. But I'm. Oh. Hey, how's it going? I taught my way onto the old Nanobot work crew rebuilding this show. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. I'm on a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Ah, oh, thank you, GLaDOS. Ending us off with a joke. Yes, you heard that right. I'm going to have to end the video here. I will see you guys next time. Bye.